and what is <coughs> very sad today is that a former cabinet secretary of unimpeachable qualities is yeah Hello? go on go on pinaki yeah is is has had to, has had to actually uh, you know come on television and speak about the government's skullduggery government's uh, duplicity government's obfuscation uh, this is a savage indictment uh, there is no question that there is uh, an indictment which is uh, due for this government i think my only uh, <clears throat> hope is that the opposition the bjp principally doesn't fall into the trap of the government you know this the congress government has always had very scant regard for parliament i say this with a deep sense of regret and uh, advisedly so you know they they think they they really regard parliament as an absolute uh, absolutely necessary mm -hmm. evil that they have to face once in a while you know they love to just run uh, the government through north block south block the government runs very smoothly there it's when they have to face parliament that they are at sixes and sevens and <clears throat> unfortunately the bjp over the last 6 7 years that they've been in opposition has never really placed the government on the mat instead oh. if we see the same specter tomorrow of parliament being you know shouted down adjourned government will keep protesting oh we would love to give a explanation on the floor of the house but the opposition doesn't allow it oh. you're really then playing the rules by the government's rules <coughs> the government would love the bjp to do that uh, you know sometimes i know that this government is clever enough to actually get some of the friendly opposition parties to uh, you know in, as we've seen in the rajya sabha very often raise issues create a shindy and have house adjourned so what's your you know, point to the bjp friendly you're, opposition parties what are you saying to the bjp you are saying that you are saying don't make make let's noise debate, when parliament let the government starts tomorrow don't disrupt this, parliament this must be keep it orderly yes please don't disrupt parliament let the government answer on the floor of the house the prime minister <coughs> must answer on the floor of the house correct how did he on the 29th of may continue to say that there was a draft report in circulation does he is he that much out of the loop of what's happening in his government that for 18 days he had no idea that there was a full fledged cag report that had been received by the rashtrapati bhavan and as the cabinet secretary former cabinet secretary says by at least two or three other ministries i i find this uh, inconceivable you, uh, and particularly where his own role his own role has been so shadowed you know the question is that why was was there so much nervousness in saying we have got the report we are examining it we will table it we are deciding our response we were, we are not ready to table it yet i mean absolutely maybe that would have been uh, uh, you know perhaps uh, ajay ajay i think you agree with that maybe that would have been a more honest assessment of facts and this you uh, know but they no. are not honest yes ajay it's see uh, uh, arnab like uh, pinaki has correctly said uh, you know uh, that <coughs> one is that we need to make sure that we don't adjourn parliaments and uh, have really very strong debates on the floor of the house and put the government accountable on the statements they make and uh, definitely one thing it shows you know the total disregard in terms of being honest with the country in terms of look i don't think people would have grudged <coughs> excuse me if they had said that listen we got the report we need time to study it yeah i mean fine i mean there may be niceties whether you should table it immediately not table it and and uh, they need to table it but it is still tolerable but to say we don't have the report yeah that and continuously you know deal in this uh, double speak is extremely unfortunate the senior the levels of the government that is the problem i think if they had said I we have the, the report we are trying to study it we need time for it now there'll be greater the, pressure you know, the jury would have been much more kinder now there'll be greater the, pressure to table the report but i want i want the bjp to Adam. respond to the point that pinaki made you know he's he's making a valid point now we can just coming back to you but i want prashant uh, mr jawadekar to respond to pinaki mishra he he is no, saying to you yeah. substantive issues will not I, be raised if you have an obstructionist approach in parliament starting tomorrow see we are very clear in our strategy and we have exhibited both the strategies at appropriate time two years ago at for the 2g we made one session go but that is why the 2g things came into light and 2g was exposed the way it is now stands exposed but last two sessions you have seen bjp putting government on mat on not only one but tens of issues and we have done it very effectively and you also have uh, registered that so people have seen we acting as a effective opposition no. and putting government on the mat and here is the prime minister lying to the nation well I, that's I, the most serious thing he is in charge of the department and in the, and, the, and i will not excuse anybody 
the, and will not allow to say that he was not in the loop. He was in the loop. He knows everything. So don't underrate underrate our prime minister. Was as an a attempt. Wa I think so he is a politician. Yeah, the, the coal scam itself, Navika, is now going to be a major talking point. Can the making public of the report, tabling of the report, and now the re entire report coming out of the media be delayed anymore? They, do, will there now be greater pressure to have an open discussion on what the CAG has observed, point by point? Well, uh, that will entirely depend uh, on the pressure that the opposition uh, can put uh, up as far as media organizations like uh, we are concerned. Uh, we can only bring facts to light. Uh, the uh, pressure really in parliament will need to come from the opposition. But that's not the point. We must understand the context in which this entire debate is taking place. Or the last week here on Times Now, we had revealed four letters written by the CAG himself, Mr. Vinod Rai, writing to the then finance minister, Pranam Mukherjee. Four letters. July 5th. 2010, August 31st, 2010, September 2010 and May 2011. And he refers to a presentation that was made where the CAG had demanded only three things. One, that whenever a question is asked from a ministry, it should be replied to in 30 days. That's the RTI uh, allowed time period yes. and that should be followed even in CAG questions being raised. The second point that he had made was only that if a report of the CAG is submitted in a parliament session, it should be tabled in the same session of parliament. And if it is given to the government in the intercession between two yes, parliament sessions, absolutely. it should be tabled within the first seven days of a that parliament week. Absolutely. That should be mandated through amendments in the Act. Well, the been question asked... is, has the government chosen to look away from these reminders Precisely. that have been sent by the CAG only because it wants to obfuscate facts as has been said? Well, there's no secret there, Navika, about the Cold War that's going on between the CAG and the government. That's a matter of in the public domain. But my last question again goes to TSR Subramaniam. In the context of what Navika just said, Mr. Subramaniam, is it now time to have a new system. You submit a CAG report and you take away the arbitrariness of whether the government should or should not table it. Should there be now, say, a 48 hour period? What is there to hide about a CAG report? You have it, uh, it Arnab, is with you. Uh, As a matter of process, Arnab, submit it. Uh, Arnab, the government is only the trustee of public funds. That's true. And uh, the CAG is the, um, is the examiner. He, he is given the job of, uh, of auditing it. And the custodian of this report is the PAC. I think the new procedure should be that he should send the report to the Secretary General of the, uh, of the Lok Sabha, uh, requesting him to place it before the PAC, send copies to the various people concerned. There is no need to send elsewhere. Because as Mr. Jaitley said, in this government has no role to play at this stage. Later, when the PAC is taking up the matter, government can explain the matter or discuss the matter or, or, um, or give um, uh, comments or clarification. At this stage, there is no role. Government is just the mere post office. So there is no need to have this post office. We can bypass the post office. Don't forget, in this case, this is public money. That's true. Government is the trustee. They have no right to block it even, uh, block the report for two days. Right. They, can, they can give any answer they want, they any justification they want, but they can't block it. I think these changes that Vinod Rai wants, I think are completely unimpeachable, they must be done. And the question is if the government has, as Vinod Rai writes in those letters, Mr. Subramaniam, now we can show that to you. In the letters, Vinod Rai claims to the government, he has already got an in-principle approval from the government on changing the procedure. If the in-principal approvement came more than two years back, why is the government sitting on it? I'd like to thank you all for that very important uh, discussion right before the parliament more session. Example, that's all. Yes, it's a right. And, and, and through this parliament session, Times Now will keep the focus on the issues that really matter. And as Pinaki Mishra rightly says, need to be discussed and debated at length in parliament. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.